Good afternoon, fourth grade. Mrs. Asherill here, and now we are working on module five, lesson four. And today's goal is to decompose fractions into sums of smaller unit fractions using that tape diagram. All right, let's get started. Um, I'm going to share my screen with you. There we go. And let's make it big. All right. The total length of each tape diagram represents one or one whole. We're going to decompose the shaded unit fractions as the sum of smaller unit fractions in at least two different ways. The first one has been done for us, which is very helpful. It shows that we have one half is shaded. And so when I look at the parts that they've created there, they have six different parts. One, two, three, four, five, six. Make sure that's on. Okay, I have six parts. So that's the denominator on the bottom is showing me six parts. The smaller unit fraction is now one sixth. So one half equals one sixth plus one sixth plus one sixth. Then they decided to show it in smaller unit fractions over here. So they have one half equals one tenth plus one tenth plus one tenth plus one tenth plus one tenth because they've divided your whole into 10 parts. Okay, all right, we can handle that. Part B is, is one that you're gonna finish on your own. Use part A to help you, to guide you. And then let's look at number two. It says the total length of each tape diagram represents one or one whole. We're gonna decompose the shaded fractions as the sum of smaller unit fractions in at least two different ways. Okay, so same idea. Let's look at part A. We have one, two, three, four parts. Three of those parts are shaded. So I have three, four. Three out of four parts are shaded. So now when I go down underneath, I'm gonna uh, decompose these into smaller parts again. Let's use, let's see if I can try a different color. And let's divide this into smaller parts. Two, four, six, eight. I now have eight parts, wonderful. So when I go to showcase what's underneath, I'm gonna have, let's see, let's do black. Let's go back to normal. We have three fourths is equivalent or equal to one eighth plus one eighth, plus one eighth, plus one eighth, plus one eighth, plus one eighth. Let's make sure I did that correctly. There are one, two, three, four, five, six parts now. One, two, three, four, five, six, six eighths there. Which equals three fourths. Let's take a look at the second part. It's still the same fraction. Three out of four parts are shaded, but I'm going to, let's use pink again. And let's see if we can't divide this into smaller fractions, unit fractions again. I'm gonna use two lines to represent my parts now. Well, I've broken them into groups of three there, so I can count by threes. Three, six, nine, twelve. I now have twelve parts. So I'm going to mark this down the same way. Let's go back to black. And now it is three-fourths is equivalent or equal to three, six, nine, twelve. So our denominator becomes twelve. It's going to be one-twelfth plus one twelfth plus one twelfth and I just keep on going nine different times oh my gosh one two three four five six seven eight nine let's make sure that's actually twelve okay so the denominator is twelve parts I have nine of those shaded in. Nine out of 12 is equivalent 
to three fourths. Okay, let's look at the next part. Let's go to number three and I'll show you here. Here is number three. It says to draw tape diagrams to prove that the following statements are true. The first one has been done for us again, which is wonderful. We love to see that. We have two fifths equal to four tenths. Well, all right, with those dark lines in there, those dark outer lines, they've created five parts. Two parts are shaded out of the five, so that's two fifths. Then they put them into, or decompose them into smaller fractions, unit fractions. So we have two, four, six, eight, ten. There are ten parts. Four of those are shaded, so it's four tenths. Two, two fifths equals four tenths. Well, let's take a look at part C. Let's go way down here to part C. I know that they've got really big space here. I'm going to use it up, and I'm going to create... I'm gonna try to make it big for you so you can see. All right, two sixths. We're gonna start with sixths because that is my denominator. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. They have two out of the six shaded. This is fun when you can figure out all the color doodads. All right, so two out of six are shaded. And then now I'm going to go back. Let's use pink again. That was fun. And since they want the equivalent fraction, um, I better show what I was doing first. This represents two sixths. It's very important to put that first. Then you're going to show another unit fraction. Let's go pink. What I'm going to do is I need to create 18 parts. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. If I divided this with into thirds there, I'm going to put two lines in each section. Hey, now I'm going to count by count by threes. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. I have 18 parts now. So how many are shaded out of the 18? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I have 6 out of 18 shaded. All right, that's kind of a fun part in um, this assignment. Kind of fun. All right, I hope that you have uh, found a little bit of help from this video. I hope that you've been watching videos and realize that this is the end of your fourth grade math. So keep on trucking, keep working hard this last week. And it's been really fun working with you. So thanks for watching. Mm-hmm. <laughs>